So, here's a nice bit of controversy to get our teeth stuck into. The interview stars James Franco and Seth Rogen and is directed by Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg. It tells the story of Franco's Dave Skylark, a current affairs news anchor, TV presenter, who very much goes for the celebrity fluff style of interview, everything from Rob Lowe's balding issues to Eminem's sexuality. Rogan stars as Aaron Rappaport, Skylark's producer and best friend, who very early on in the film realises that he has wandered from the path he originally wanted to go down, that of serious news, serious political reporting, to this fluff side of things. The duo find out that none other than president and dictator of North Korea, Kim Jong-un, is in fact a fan of Skylark's show, and they realise that if they were to manage to get an interview with Kim Jong-un, it would set them apart from everyone else. Once they manage to procure the interview with Kim, enter the CIA, mainly in the presence of Lizzie Kaplan as Agent Lacey, who convinces the pair to assassinate Kim Jong-un. And here we have our film, which might just have peed off North Korea a little bit. Now, this film has obviously been incredibly controversial. And in that respect, I am very glad that this has been released. I think it was important that it has been released. And I think it sets a very important precedent and standard, the fact that this film has been released. I don't think anyone should have the right to say, yes, that film could be released. No, that film can't be released because that film offends me, because that film doesn't offend me. You do not have the right to not be offended as far as I'm concerned. That being said, I really wish the film that has been at the centre of all this controversy hadn't been so painfully average. We'll start off with the good things. Rogan and Franco have always worked well together, will always work well together. They just do. They are. They have. I hate the phrase completely, but they have one of the most, one of the strongest bromances going, and they will. They always spark off each other. Well, that works. That always will work. Everyone else is also competent in the film. No one is a shining light in it, but at the same time, no one is awful in it. Lizzie Kaplan is good as Agent Lacey, very straight laced. Although she does drop one or two little bits in there, which I which did very much raise a smile, raise a chuckle. And Randall Park plays his part as Kim Jong-un. He probably has the most complicated role since he does have to be very much a deceiver the whole way through the film. It's directed well enough. It gets fairly stupid at times, but it was always going to. This is a James Franco, Seth Rogen film about a duo going to assassinate Kim Jong-un. There was never any point that this wasn't going to get stupid at times. My problem with the film was really simple. Bearing in mind this is a comedy, there is not one single belly laugh in the whole film. Don't get me wrong, I chuckled a lot, I really did, but at no point did it raise above a chuckle, at no point did I lose it laughing, and you just should in a comedy. And I can't put it down to the type of humour either, because it's a Seth Rogen, James Franco film, there's going to be a lot of puerile humour here, of course there is, and I have absolutely no issue with that. Because if a joke's funny, then it's funny. I don't care if it's puerile. I don't care if it's smart. I don't care. The fact is there was no real golden jokes here at all. And a lot of the jokes you really could see from two miles away quite easily. For example, at one point, Rappaport has to hide a piece of technology from the North Koreans. And you knew instantly, it's going up his ass. then. It's going to be a butt joke. And there we go. There it was. There's really not that much else to say about this film. If you are a really big fan of the James Franco, Seth Rogen comedies, you'll love it. You'll absolutely love this film. Me, I must have, I'm not that big a fan. I wasn't a great fan of This Is The End. That would have been good as a 15-minute sketch, but I thought it way overstayed its welcome as a feature-length film. And so I guess I feel kind of the same about this. It just didn't have the jokes to last a feature length film for me at all. But if you like their films together, oh, you'll have a whale of a time. I give the film a five and a half out of 10. I think it's a comedy that 
isn't really that funny and at no point gives you that proper belly laugh that you're looking for. Um, I don't hate the film, but I certainly don't love it. It is pretty much completely average. And that's all I can really say about it. Thank you, of course, for listening to my thoughts on the film. Please let me know yours in the comments and feel free to like the video or subscribe.